Meg Baker, you're chasing a story. It's a tragic story about a 29-year-old model who was struck by a bus while riding her bike in New York. What do you got? That's right. Anna Marie Mostrom, a 29-year-old Swedish model, is said to be in critical condition and said to be brain dead after being struck by a bus while bicycling to her home on Roosevelt Island last week. Mostrom was best known as a contestant in the Scandinavian version of Top Model. Now, I'm here on Main Street in Roosevelt Island. Red buses like the one that struck Anna have been consistently picking up passengers and dropping people off here on Main Street. According to police, the bus was making a left turn when it struck her, causing her to fall off her bike. It's not been concluded whether she turned into the bus or the bus just completely rammed into her. Wow. The driver stayed at the scene of the accident and has not been charged as of yet with any crime. Anna is listed in critical condition at Weill Cornell Medical Center where her family is keeping vigil. I chase a story a little further to Metro Bicycle who rents bikes to people who are visitors or living in New York City. Just always look out for cab doors opening on you, which happens a lot. If you're riding in a bike lane, just be very aware of... Uh pedestrians walking into the bike lane. Sometimes people just aren't looking enough. He stresses to people when they rent bikes to be aware of their surroundings, know that buses do have blind spots, know the rules of the road. Here's an example of a yellow vest that you could wear so that people around you are more aware that you are in a bike lane and you are on a bike. I also caught up with a Bike the Big Apple bike tour. They haven't had any injuries during a tour in all 12 years. He's run these tours that span the entire city. It's much safer to ride groups in a pack. I mean, the, when, you, when you see accidents happen, it's usually a solo rider who's sort of doing that whole thing. You know, Meg, it, it raises a bigger question here, and I wonder if some of the push that Mayor Bloomberg initiated in New York with city bikes and pushing, you know, these green initiatives and the idea to get more people on bikes, uh, I wonder if it was all thought through enough, because you've already got so much congestion and so many people in New York that you really are putting yourself at risk when you're riding down that street. There aren't, you know, there aren't enough designated spots in the city, and I wonder if this program... Uh, she'd even continue because honestly helmet or not reflector or not uh, you know you're no match for a bus and especially yeah. if it wasn't even something that someone did wrong it was just making a left turn and there are blind spots uh, this is a tragic story but i think it raises a much bigger question yeah, but it, I mean, it's an accident you know and every tragedy doesn't necessarily have fault associated with it i mean based on that rationale then people shouldn't walk on the streets either because you're no match to a bus Sometimes accidents happen. No, no city in, North, in the United States is more dense than New York City, especially Manhattan. you got a lot of people, cars, bikes. Are we even doing this story if it's not a Swedish model on the bike? I think I know the answer. Meg, keep chasing. Let us know what happens. Uh, let, uh, obviously, our thoughts and prayers are with this young woman and her family. Thanks, yeah, Meg. absolutely. Everyone be aware if you are running one of these bikes or you have your own bike in the city. It's about self-awareness and being cautious.